Good morning guys, back with another video, uh, I've just been and collected this, it's only a little baby one, <laughs> me not checking measurements again, I thought it was going to be a bigger one but for the house sizes that we've got round here it's a lot better actually because it'll be able to go in a lot better places as such, the condition of it's really good, there's nothing wrong with it at all but I like to get these and I'll paper the back and stuff so when we're ready I'll be back right then I've given it all a sand because it was quite shiny and uh, this crack everywhere again and I'm going to give it all a coat of shellac. Ignore the hair, I've had a shower so it's wet. So it's half pin back and half not. I haven't got time to uh, go and do it for you guys. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to give it more so I don't have to use so much paint, basically. But I'm going to paper the back so I don't need to worry about the back. So we're just going to give a little bit of spray. Hope everyone's doing okay. I want to be careful how I film today because I've got the daughter in here as well and she doesn't want to be famous. <laughs> uh, she might do one day I keep telling her she's, she's very funny she's very dry with her humour and I've said that she could just come on and you know just insult me all day and she'd probably get a load of, in, uh, a load of subscribers so She's not up for it yet. I'm sure we'll get her on here at some point. Yeah, she's just because uh, I sold three things yesterday. She's had to take over today and start selling. Where I haven't sold anything today, so she doesn't like it if I sell something. She has to. Uh, she has to do better. So she, she's done a couple of sales already today. We always used to get the spray cans of this. Uh, this is that bin primer, the bin shellac stuff. And we used to get the spray cans. And since the daughter's started, I think she uses it as though it's for free, you know. So we've had to go on to the liquid instead to try and make it go a bit further. Obviously I'm all squashed in this corner because I don't want to get her on video. You're not that squashed. I am squashed. She comes in and takes over as though, you know, it's her room. I'm just like borrowing it for from her. <laughs> so, where she's got all the floor. I've got this tiny little bit over here. 
Then we'll give that a bit to dry and then we'll come back again. Okay. Right, I've given that a couple of hours to dry and I've just given it a light sand down and I'm going to roller it. using um, sorry I always put uh, film film in so that I can just when it's dried I can just throw it away I'm using the uh, rust-oleum in the satin finish furniture paint in the colour mocha so I've just given that a stir and we'll pour some in how much I need actually. So, I should put that out of the way for a bit. And then save that because that's what I use for my shellac. Get a new roller. Straightforward, dead easy sides. So, I shall have a paint brush just to do all the edges and stuff with. And I think this will go perfectly with the colour paper that I've chosen to go in the back and like I say this is a it's the chalk paint but it's the satin finish one so you don't need to do anything else with it basically once you've once you've painted it Isn't it awkward when you're trying to do something for filming? <laughs> a lot of flies around today. Is it fly season? I like to go to the edges and over a little bit when I'm papering just so you know it gets it's all covered. Oh, 
just a minute guys oh you press the dot there <laughs> Sorry about that, but Katie didn't want to be on camera. So, I'm just... There's one thing to say about rollering. I mean, <laughs> it's certainly quick, isn't it? Really. When you've got a lot to do, and when it's just a straight surface like this, And between each coat, I shall give it a sand down so that you don't see the, um, like the roller lines, if you know what I mean. And because it's a bookshelf, I should do under here. You never know who's going to be looking, do you? do the drawers and the shelf and then we'll come back right, so I've given it all a coat we'll come back when the, I'll give it probably another at least another one coat maybe two and then we'll come back for the papering right then you'll have to excuse the light it's it's actually quite dark outside so I've got a couple of lamps on but I just wanted because all that paint's dry so I wanted to show you the paper that I was going to put on and it's a leaf one what have I done there? oh here yeah, are look I have got a couple of bits to touch up anyway because I forgot to fill my holes but I thought well while before I go in I can put that on and then it can be dry for tomorrow and then I can do any touch ups that I've got to do and all I'm going to use to stick I used to use the um, the wallpaper border adhesive but I found it made the paper really bubbly and sometimes the bubbles wouldn't dry out, so then it looked a right bloody mess. So I thought I'd give Mod Podge a go, and I use it all the time now, it's far better. So I just use Mod Podge now to stick the paper on. Like I say, I've got a few more bits left to do on it. It may need another bit more of a coat. 
but it's fine for the paper to go on now so I thought I'd show it you and all this is is a sample that I pick up uh, from the local DIY shop so I go in and if there's something that I like the look of I go and grab a bit a bit more on I think it's because I've not uh, painted the back in I normally give the back in a full paint first Ripping now and sticking down. Knife. And I always use a, a new blade so it doesn't, fingers crossed, so it doesn't tear anyway. Uh, I know it to reactivate the paint in the corners, which obviously it's blue, but like I say, I'll come back tomorrow and then at least all that's got a chance to dry. So what do I think? It's really nice with the colour. Sorry, um, no, I've got the light on. But it goes perfect with the colour of the paint. Okay, so that's all. That's the only. That's how I do it anyway. No fancy way. Just a bit of modge podge and a roll end. All right. So we'll see you back tomorrow when we'll finish off. Right then, it's the next day. Um, I've just popped the shelf and everything back in, and I've sanded those and painted it. So that all looks nice now. But I can't decide whether I like that handle or that one. So, I hope you can see this is 
only me. There's my little cameraman behind me. But yeah, park side. So I'm going to shout the crew out <laughs> and see what they think. So we'll be back in a minute. Right then. I'm sorry, we was all outnumbered to pick these ones. So I've put them on and I thought the drawers are a little bit plain. So I'm just going to. This is Versafine in on in it's black. And I'm going to also use my Prima um oh I can't remember what this is called. Hang on a second, let me have a look. It's a mould. It's called Vintage Script. And it's a pack of three that you get. Ooh. So I'm just going to stamp on. I would have used white, but I don't have white. And then I'm just going to top it down. The yes, that's the door she can hear in the background. She's anti everything. That gives you that effect. So I'll just do to the end. You, you'll get wonky in a minute. <laughs> writing and it's just a little bit a little bit more so that when they open the drawers it just looks nicer I'll just do the other side. I'm hoping that won't rub it off. You know it probably will do now, I don't think because it's me. So, what do we think? I hope you can see. Can you see? And it's on both sides. And it's just a little bit of something different, isn't it? 
so I quite like it right then this is it done what do we think a little simple outdated bookshelf that I think now would fit in anybody's house everything's neutral so it'll go with anybody's taste we went with those handles and you pull it out at the sides and you just get a little touch of something else so I hope you like it I quite like these little ones it makes it, it takes them from where nobody wants them to where they can go anywhere really but anyway I'll see you on the next one if you liked it please like subscribe and comment below and we'll see you again soon okay take care bye